Hey guys, how's it going? Sobi here. Welcome back to the La Mela Redemption. This is episode 5. And if you have missed any of the others, feel free to drop back to my channel and have a little watch. I will explain the series in a couple of minutes. But before we do get started, if you are looking for any Ultimate Team Coins, check out UT Coin Traders. The link to their website is down in the description. But that is that guy's team. Wow. Informed Thiago Silva, informed Neymar, he had Wellington. He had Hulk, he had Robinho, it was a very, very quick team and I knew I was going to really, really struggle. And whilst you're watching these little girls watching Defend, you're getting a nice little equaliser there. I'm going to ask you guys a little question of the video as we always do. And that question today is going to be, what is your favourite movie of all time? I think I've got a tough choice between Pulp Fiction or Kill Bill. I think my first Kill Bill as well. I'm a huge Quentin Tarantino fan, fantastic director, really enjoyed all of his movies and I think those two have to definitely be up there with my favourite films. But let me know in the comment section down below what is your favourite film of all time because it would be cool to get a little bit of interaction going and I'd like to know what you guys are into but we do equalise with Defendi, honestly he is so so good, I don't know what it is about him but for some reason this guy actually decided to rage quit when we were drawing I don't know why, but because of that, it doesn't actually go onto our record and it doesn't count towards our season, which is a huge shame because I was actually doing really well that game and I think, I think I could have actually done enough to beat him and somehow that was actually the same guy we played in the last game of the previous episode. What the chances of that? It was absolutely crazy, but this guy, oh my god, that team, Eto, Masufa, Remy, Traps. He had an amazing team, a very, very solid defence as well. And this new keeper, he is terrible. He is so, so bad. Every single shot this guy had just seemed to go in. I really, really do miss Cordaz, which was our rare bronze, the guy that we just replaced in the first game. I want our old keeper back because this guy is atrocious. He is such a terrible keeper. I cannot wait to upgrade him. And I think that is exactly what I'm going to do next. But he's just pouring in the goals. I just could not do a single thing about it. He he just destroys my defence so easily. He even gets a lovely little chip goal with Samuel Eto there. I really do need to try out Samuel Eto. So, I've got some of the goals out. It's half time. We're 6 0 down. 6 0. We need to make something happen. Something has to change in the team. Could this be the start of something very, very interesting we get our first goal defendi with the first and then he scores and again and again and again and we end up losing 11-1 i am terribly terribly sorry that was the worst game of fifa i have ever played i don't know what it was but i just could not do anything against him everything he did was perfect a very good player he just ruined my defence. And this guy is using pace cards on David Luiz, Podolski, Aguero and Van Persie. Not that they're not quick enough anyway, but he decides to put some pace cards on. And they were definitely pace cards, I could tell in game. But Lamela does kick things off with a great little finesse shot. So we can upgrade at least one player, which is brilliant because we hadn't got any games in the first two for Lamela. By games, I actually meant goals. I don't know why I said games. But we do get a second goal here. Abasi... That was a fantastic little bit of control there. If you did miss it, go back and watch that again because that was a fantastic little bit of control. He flicked it up and whipped it in from a bicep. But Van Persie gets a nice goal. I don't know if he had a shooting card on as well, but things were a little bit weird in this game. I wasn't sure what was going on with the strikers. But we do get a penalty, and I'm going to switch over to Le and take the penalty with Lamela just to try and get an extra goal with Lamela. I'm always going to do it with four penalties. And we do get a second goal, which is absolutely brilliant. And then we are on the attack again. Gonzalez, unfortunately, his shot is parried, but we do get a goal through Lucci again. We have got some fantastic players in this team. And then I do a bit of a cheeky little tramp. The reason I did that was because this guy was being incredibly annoying. And I thought the pace cards, he kind of deserved it. I just wanted to score as many as possible against this guy. Because who uses pace cards and things like that in Ultimate Team? It's just a really dirty tactic. It gets a really weird shot. That is exactly why... Our keeper is dreadful. I really, really need to upgrade him. So, in the next episode, Lamela did get two goals. So, we can upgrade two players, which is very nice. And that's the bicycle kick, by the way. Very, very nice control. 
and I really did enjoy this game. It was very, very interesting actually. I, I was proud to beat him despite he had those pace cards and things like that on his team. But that has been this episode of the Lamela Redemption. If you have enjoyed it, please consider hitting that like button. It really does help me out. And I'm so, so grateful. Thank you so much for the 540 likes on the previous episode. That is just crazy. But take care, guys. Have an amazing day. And I shall see you soon. Goodbye.